the scope of the Waco project is the full reconstruction from utilities all the way to the bridges for seven miles of IH-35 to Waco. The total reconstruction of it, I mean from the drainage to the roadways to the bridges to the frontage roads. To me the most unique thing of this project in particular would be building across the Brazos River. Um, the way that that was done or being done, uh, there's beams on it now, but the process of the drill shafts and having to do all that. Here at the project, our safety department faces many unique challenges. One of those being is work over waterways like the Brazos River behind me. Uh, to combat this, we generated a site-specific safety policy for working over waterways that addresses the safety of our employees, of course, but also the impact that we have on the environment and also our impact on recreation on the river. Working with the barges, making sure the pig plants with the cranes were adequate and all the challenges that it has working on top of a boat on a barge. That's the construction-wise, that's the most unique thing. Uh, Management-wise, it's uh, managing 20, 25 crews from subcontractors and Weber, 25 engineers, four superintendents, and making sure we're all working as a team, and making sure that we're all helping each other achieve our milestones, our finish dates, and making sure everybody is cooperating with the client, with the subcontractors, and with our crews. All the challenge we have the technical office, which is they help us a lot to combine phases and do whatever we need to do to improve our production on the film and to see what we can get ahead of the schedule and keep our budget close or, you know. So I think from the technical office to the engineering services to the equipment department, to, I mean, we got great support on the field, I mean. And how we keep the communication between different disciplines to make everything work. And, you know, the way we speak and we have those meetings on teams, I think it's a great help for the project because we have those meetings at two o'clock. And also after that, we have our meetings on the field. So just to make sure everything keeps moving well. Thus far, I think we've done a really good job as a team. Uh, through the end of September, we've accomplished an injury rate of 0.74. There's been uh, quite a few people that know that I'm on this job site, and when they come through here, they've told me that, you know, every time I go through, something's changed. They said, you know, you can notice a change throughout the project. You're always either moving traffic or putting them on permanent or, you know, there's a constant change. It doesn't look like it's just sitting still like most construction jobs. Uh, everybody's gonna always have a problem with construction in their traveling public area, but it's when they see constant change, it sure helps the attitude of the traveling public and people around the job site to, you know, have a better attitude about things. The pressure is there. Pressure, construction is always a pressure business. You need to work with it. But the schedule, the pace, the amount of people, the size of the job, being it the large pro largest heartbeat project that Weber's doing, there's a lot of pressure on it. But I think we're taking it good. We're working as a very tight team. So I think it's going good. <laughs>